Hey guys, sorry I got interrupted. Uh, a customer came in. So yeah, we were at Kathy's. Um, no, we were somewhere else. I'm sorry, we were here. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff. Um, just a ton of stuff. Everything from antiques to tchotchkes to uh, ironing boards. There's some vintage hangers. Um, I guess you really can't tell the size. They're about eight, ten inches. They're for kids' clothes or a kid. There's a corner cabinet. Some assorted stuff. There's a 1960s fake fireplace. It does uh, have a heater in it and it lights up. That's sold. Golf clubs. I meant to flip these around and I forgot. Lawn blowers, leaf blowers. Every cleanup I do, I get one or two. Got vintage gas cans. I probably got four more back at the house. Picked up a uh, reef system filter container. Um, hmm. Lots of chairs with no seats. Artwork. Tons and tons of artwork. Prints. There's a color by number, paint by number, Last Supper. Um, these are sides to a crib of the century crib um i just hang these on the wall they look great it's another last supper there's gail and uh dave's domino clock this chalkboard i need out front vacuum cleaners newel posts painting on a mirror sickles i've probably got 10 more sickles back at the house Tons of old metal toolboxes. Croquet set. That's pretty beat up. Picked up a bunch of these registers. There's a snowflake thing. I don't know what that is. There's one of those crib sides hanging on the wall. This is where the tools are most of the time. I've got tons of tools back there i got to bring in. wooden mallets probably got 20 more framing squares back at the house got these um oh why can't i remember what they're called hand drills wooden brushes horsehair brushes vintage tvs that's a pretty cool print Stuff I used to make that I don't make anymore. Me. There's a amateur painting. Another star I made years ago. That's a pretty cool one. I need some funky 1960s type pillows. I got them. Trunks, lots of trunks. I just sold one today. Got a great little cabinet. Beadboard front. Make a nice storage cabinet. Lots and lots of Cabbage Patch dolls. Too many. Looks like somebody's been playing with them. Ooh, he's naked. Uh, that's not good. Another heart. The horse head I made a couple of years ago. Tons of old bottles. Another paint by number. <laughs> Looks like one I had at my house when I was a kid. TV. Lots of glassware. Too much glassware. An old guy made that. Um, I got it on a cleanup I did. There's the basket of golf balls. Got an old Hoosier. Look at this. 
I, I guess it's a picture on tin. I don't think that's a tin type, but I don't know. What is this? USA? Might be McCoy? I don't know. Hmm. That just might come back with me. Mm -mm -mm. The one thing I do collect is McCoy. Lots of pot, pots and pans. Lots of kitchen utensils. I like the old stuff. Dog bowls. Um, I'm going to be bringing in a whole bunch of pots and pans. Vintage stuff. Stainless, aluminum. Rear wear goes on wine. Those are kind of cool. Pottery. Yeah, somebody mentioned. Oh, I, uh, I don't remember who. Uh, wanted to get a closer look at the pottery. These are basic, you know, flower pots and stuff. I got some other crockery back at the uh, brick house. Uh, Willow Ware. Got some Limoges. I think that's Limoges. Don't know what that is. Don't know, don't know. It's a big break front. It's crazy big. Just a small sample of frames that we have. A cool yellow pot. Enamel Ware. Lots of enamel Ware. artwork another vintage TV suitcases this is Limoges too but not a very good set what do we got ties oh man I gotta bring I got a garbage bag full of ties back at the house I gotta go get um what else we got here? We got this pretty cool old bench. Let's see. What else would you guys like to see? This is uh, Kevin's. He has a warehouse full of stuff. A lot of old new stock. Trying to go slow. A couple motorcycle helmets. That's pretty cool. Somebody airbrushed a rose. They're extra small. Wicker baskets. I get those every time I find them. Uh, wicker laundry basket. I have no idea what that is. Riding helmets. Actually, I think that's an old racing helmet. And a horse hat. Helmet. It's a nice old dresser. Sort of matching bed. A couple of rocking horses. Spring horse. Another spring horse. Lots of books. That's the uh, headboard to the uh, crib rails I got back there. Even that looks cool just hanging on a wall. You got some Jim Beam. Decanters, bookcase, more books, that, some vases, vases, tomato, tomato, milk glass, this is just a small sample of milk glass, got an assortment of records, and that display case, love to sell that if I could, this is a pretty cool little shelf unit nice that's not a brass rail but sort of looks like one lots of Christmas stuff more books Jordan just set this up today she brought boxes of uh, dishware and glassware back loads of it Picked up a few sashes yesterday at Ed's house. Speaking of Ed, 
I got the headboard to this bed. I've had the footboard and the rails for months. We could not get this damn headboard out of the attic. It wouldn't fit down the stairwell. We finally got it yesterday. It is nice. Um, all the tubing underneath this blue paint is brass, shiny brass, and um, the little cast iron connectors are cast iron. Cool bed. And it's a full size, not a three quarter, like most of the old beds that I find. I measured it and checked it myself. Definitely a full. Picked up a couple of park benches. Even this rug's for sale. They're kind of a cool look to it. And the braided rug's for sale. All these easy chairs, rockers. I got tons and tons of rockers. There's another one. These walnut, these nutcracker guys keep turning up. Man, every friggin' cleanup I get, I get a bunch. Picked up a couple of doors. Another one. Barnwood. Tons of barnwood. Another barn door. Enzo's got a dining room table here. 1970s, 80s. Nice. I think it's maple. Could be. And this um, display cabinet. All for sale. Um, got a loom in. A rug loom. I guess you make rugs and stuff with it. It's pretty cool. Uh, these chairs. These chairs are mine. Definitely 1960s, 70s. And we got all these restaurant chairs. There's probably 50 of them here. Five bucks a piece. Get a bunch, you get a break and a half. Uh, what else? JR has this stuff. He's a vendor. New vendor. Um, he's got mostly new stuff. Boots and kitchen utensils and garden stuff. Lots of uh, rubber boots. I brought in this corn husker. Just picked that up this week, last week. All right, I took my time. Hope everybody's happy. Got a cool little milking stool. Um, maple syrup, lots of maple syrup. Fresh, brand new, made right up here. I picked up some. Uh, skeletons and stuff the bird for you got a couple bicycles Enzo's got a cot here there's a couple steel wheels um, a great park bench and he put the seat on for me I got this red trailer make a nice long thing uh, Vista Esquire with a basket nice 10 speed and we got a couple milk uh, cans. There's another one somewhere. There it is. Shenango Valley Co-op. And this thing, too. This giant-ass fire extinguisher. Holy crap. This thing is great. Very cool. All right. I am done. I'm going home. Mm-hmm. I got a bottle of Southern Comfort with my name on it. I'm going in. Uh, you know what? I got this too. This thing is pretty cool. This came from uh, the college dorms in Binghamton. I have no idea what it, what it's all about, but that's it. It's a paddle. Um, keyboard, Micro Genie Model V120. 1980s mirror. Got some prints. Turn of century mirror lamps halloween lawn thing <laughs> pumpkin with a black cat shutter bunch of lamps oh man i got 50 lamps easy this is a cool baby scale nice it's a hansen nursery scale very cool all right i'm really gone now all right I'll talk to you guys next time see ya hey Oh, I forgot. Don't forget to subscribe. 
If you like the video, share and like it, please. Look under the video, there's a little share button. You can share to uh, Facebook and kinds of other places. Hey, hit a button. Takes a second. You guys have a great day. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys. It is Friday at where? At Upstate Trading Post and Flea Market. Um, I've done a couple videos of, like, really quick walkthroughs in here. And um, a lot of people are yelling at me. I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. And... Um, I guess you're right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a walk through real slow, show you guys what's available, and um, maybe throw some prices in too, because um, uh, all the stuff in here is available. We ship, I ship anywhere on the planet. I don't care. So if you see something you like, uh, leave a comment, and um, I'll get a price at you. Check it out. Hey, we got some corn stalks in. We got butternut squash. I'm going to be bringing pumpkins in. Um, come on, take a look. This is Denise's booth. She's got a ton of stuff. It's mostly new stuff. She's a vendor. She also does Facebook uh, auctions. Like twice a week and occasional pop-ups. Everything is priced really well here. Very affordable. I'm thinking about taking that turtle thing home. This is Estelle and Stanley's booth. They do a lot of flea marketing. I think they have a booth up in Bingham, down in Binghamton too. This is Kathy, she's a new vendor. Um, she's got new and older stuff. She's been selling a lot. Uh, gotta get, come on in Kathy, bring some more stuff. Come on, come on, come on. This is my stuff. I've brought a ton of stuff in just to fill up space because, you know, until we get vendors, Yeah, until we get vendors, I'm going to be filling up as much space as I can. Tons of coffee cups, mirrors, rockers. I must have 20 rocking chairs. This rocker is cool. It's got, I think that's abalone in there. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. 